Hey everyone, so today we're going to be looking at what the differences are between the standard uh, mix buses that come with um, when you start a new session in Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C and utility buses, which um, are the other kind of buses that you would like be routing audio to. It's not that complicated, but a few folks have asked uh, for me to clarify this and why you might make a choice over each one. So I'll show you some sort of uh, examples and we'll talk about the different things that you can do with utility buses and um, mixed buses in mixed bus. Cool, let's go and have a look at the computer. Okay, we're um, working on a session file here. Now, I want to be clear that it's totally fine if you want to work a different way to the way I'm suggesting. Uh, mixing desks, like the one I'm sitting in front of here, um, were originally uh, designed to be as flexible as possible, really. Um, so, you know, you will find group faders like you would find mixed bus faders. Um, you will find them on desks. I've got eight in front of me here. Um, but you you know you can use them for all sorts of different things whatever you want whatever you feel comfortable doing and whatever works for you so i'm just going to show you how i would use a utility bus and a mix bus so let's just have a look at the guitars we have on this session file we've got four acoustic guitar tracks which is basically two mics on a guitar and then the performance was doubled and I've just kind of roughly balanced these let me delete this out for the moment I've just roughly balanced these and they are all going off to the um, to the to the group uh, sorry the mix bus that is labeled gits so let's just show you that there they are assigned to that mix bus so let's have a look at that mix bus there it is okay so if I play play something So as you can see, I've applied, uh, well, we'll follow this in path, actually, the path order. First of all, I've applied some drive, which effectively reduces the headroom of the signal coming in. <sighs> what does that mean? You've probably got to watch another video. Um, there's one that I did on Master Bus a little while ago. Maybe we'll do another drive video soon. Uh, but effectively, it's just adding a bit of clipping without changing the, the sound, uh, without changing the volume effectively then we go into the eq i've done some eqing then we go to compression i've done some compression um just as an example of what you might have on a master uh, on a mix bus so let's just listen to that again you know i could pull out some mids and i can make it wider or tighter so yeah and from there, I can send on to verb 1, verb 2, delay, and whatever I have on Mixbus 12 if I want. Uh, I can also do external sends from the uh, uh, processor bin area here if I wanted to. Now, let's say I want to add the electric guitars. Okay, so I'm going to add electric guitars. Oh, not there. Add electric guitars, and we've got five electric guitars. Uh, is it five? Yes, five electric guitars. So this is now adding to this um, this mix bus. And if I click spill on the mix bus, you'll see everything that's going to it, okay? So here we go. So all of these tracks, all of these tracks here are going to that mix bus. Let's jump you over here. Now they're not going to the master because they're all turned off on master, but the mix bus is going to the master. So it's being processed as one big unit first. Fine. You're probably all fine with that, right? Hey, thank you for taking two seconds out of this video to click like and subscribe and maybe even share this with your friends who might enjoy it. Um, why do I want you to do that? Well, I'd like um, more subscribers. More and more subscribers means that we can work with more more companies to present you with uh, tutorials, um, you know, based around specific products. Um, we can uh, get more products to review and I can show you more things. Um, we've even done freebie giveaways in the past uh, as as, as a result of working with some companies so that's been really great um, so hopefully the more people who like this then I can do more of that cool stuff and yeah always good fun anyway let's carry on this way now what if I wanted to do something to just the acoustic guitars well I could change the level by grouping them 
they're already grouped um, and I can move them up and down and I can individually treat them with with plugins and you know compressors and stuff but if I want to do that as a whole I want to take a mix of that and do it as a whole I'm either gonna to have to sacrifice another one of my special mix buses which has drive and this lovely three band EQ or I'm gonna to have to create a utility bus so if I go back into here and I choose this, this is just a bus that I created with um, add track bus and audio buses and I created a stereo bus. So if I now send that to Gits instead and take it off master and then I go over to my mixer, you will see if I spill and spill again, there we go. Here we have this bus going to the guitars. Um, the guitar's bus. So we're going to send now, we're going to take off the um, acoustic guitars going to the guitar's bus, mix bus, and we're going to send it through this um, utility bus first. Okay, I know it's a bit complicated, but let's think about this. Acoustic guitars into the utility bus, into the mix bus, and off to the master. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we just go right click, new external send, and I'm just gonna pull that across there. There we go, and pull here, pull here, pull here, there. Right, so after the fader, these are now going to the um, acoustic guitar bus. So let's take that, well, yeah, let's mute this for now so you can see that it's not gonna go to the, um, not gonna go to the master bus yet, the mix bus yet. So, okay, now if I unmute this, you can see it goes to the mix bus. So we can do some processing on all the guitars together. So let's say I wanted to put a, a limiter on them. Um, so why am I putting a limiter on them all? Well, it's just so nothing jumps out and it doesn't pull left and right too much and that whole kind of thing. So let's have a look. look. And then, of course, we've got the standard EQ32, 32C EQ, sorry. Um, and we can... You know, we can high pass filter everything. So that's now that's giving me um, treatments of all of the guitar, all of the acoustic guitars. Okay, so then when I mix it back together, So you could put like a flanger on here if you wanted or whatever you want really. Um, it's just about processing that before you then send it on to wherever you send it to. Now let's just say I need way more buses than I can get on the mixed buses here. Let's say I need 20 buses on a, on a session file. Well, I don't have to send them to mix buses. I've just done that so it combines with the other electric guitars. What I can do is I can um, just send it to the master if I wanted to and I could I could even ignore these mix buses and hide them if I wanted to. Let's just do that, <laughs> you know. And I could make my own mix buses, essentially. Now, what they wouldn't have is the saturation. Um, so they don't have this drive control. But they do have um, a slightly more detailed EQ. So you've got the EQ uh, from the 32C. Um, so it really depends on what you want to do. There's no right or wrong, um, you know. You can do all sorts of things. If you if you had um, extra reverbs and you didn't want to sacrifice uh, all of your mix buses with saturation for reverbs, you could you could have like ten different reverbs and then you could send them off to one mix bus and then just saturate, say, ten utility buses going into one mix bus with all the all the returns and then you could just have all your returns on one mix bus. So. I hope that makes things clear. Um, yeah, that's, you know, there's no right or wrong. Just do what you think is right at the time. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, there's no right or wrong, really. I mean, essentially, 
you've just got to think about what you require from a utility bus or a, a mixed bus and and why you might want to be sending each signal each way really it becomes instinctive at some point you just click on it and choose it so don't stress it too much but you know with that knowledge that hopefully you've taken away from this video um hopefully that decision will become a little bit more simple cool well thank you for joining me uh like and subscribe and all that jazz if you would and i'll see you next time bye bye